All right, we are going to go up here to Claystone Park at Lake Tobasovki, and we are going to try out the new Troxus bike here. We'll ride around the campground and uh, we'll go down by the lake. It's a pretty spot down here. If you haven't been or haven't seen this, I think you're gonna enjoy the video. Well, hi, it's Jerry, and uh, we are at Lake Tobosofki in middle Georgia, right off of I-475. It's a beautiful, beautiful recreation lake, nice campground. We're going to take a little ride around the campground in this new Troxus e-bike. This e-bike is really, really nice. Uh, we have been riding it uh, all day today, having so much fun, putting it through the paces, learning its features and functions, and seeing exactly how it will behave. Good news, it behaves well. And if you like an e-bike, this thing is really, really a brute. Uh, it has a 750 watt motor. Uh, it's got a 60 mile capacity. No, nope, we're not gonna do that today. But we are gonna put a bunch of miles on it and we're going to kind of take you on a tour around the campground but the biggest thing that we're going to do is show you the features of this e-bike it is absolutely um, a, a wonderful wonderful riding bike so let me just kind of give you a highlight of it and uh, then we'll go into some of the details this is the Troxus e-bike uh, as it came out of the box this took me absolutely maybe 15 minutes max to put it together there was very very little to do um, as you're looking at it now all i had to do was put on the front tire and put on the handlebars and that was it nothing and put a little air in the tires i didn't have to do a single thing even the battery was at 95 percent capacity the battery is stored here you you get a key that uh, unlocks this and then you can remove the battery by flipping uh, a latch here, super, super easy to be able to use. This e-bike does not fold. You've seen some others that do fold in the middle of this style. As you're looking at the e-bike, it is set up for guys and gals, so there's no center bar, easy to use, step on, step off. A couple features that I'll show you, uh, depending on your height and your size, uh, you can adjust the handlebars forward, uh, however you choose to, or backwards, depending on your ride comfort level. Uh, you'll also see, I'm a very tall guy, I'm a little over six feet tall. You can see I've got the seat up pretty high, and it makes it very, very comfortable to be able to pedal and ride. Uh, the seat has a memory foam in it. Very, very nice. One of the things that was really surprising, I assembled this bike in about 15 minutes. I put the front tire on, put the handlebar on, and that was about it. <laughs> oh, and I had to put the kickstand on. Uh, that was about all I had to do. Uh, even this beautiful, beautiful bike rack that are that is back here with these bamboo inserts was already mounted, so there was very little to be able to do with it. It is a very easy bike to assemble. They even provide you all the tools to be able to do it. Just, just absolutely a dream. These big 20-inch fat tires, and then you see a suspension system that you can dial and uh, change the capacity of it uh, for uh, a softer ride or a heavy ride, depending on the type of ride you want and how much weight you're putting on it. I'm a little over 200 pounds, so um, I've got mine just a tad stiff. Uh, but with these 20 inch tires, oh man, is it ride great. Um, uh, let's show you some of the features that are here. This has a, a display here that, uh, again, I'm in bright sunlight right now. Uh, you're seeing that I've already been riding on this trip two miles. I've got it in Assist 1. Um, if you notice the control here, and I've been using this control constantly, this is power off. You'll notice. I'll press it again. Power on. And then you have a a minus that is located here and a plus. If I change the plus, you'll notice that the assist goes higher. So the motor kicks in depending on the demand that you place on the pedals as you pedal. And uh, the higher the number, uh, the faster it goes and the less effort. So if you hit a big hill, I'll move it up to three or four and ease up the hill. And if I'm just out tooling around, I don't even have to do that. I just keep it on one and just barely pedal and it moves around. This is a great feature. I won't push on it right now because if I do, if I push on that, it just kicks the motor in completely. Uh, this is great that if you're sitting um, in a specific spot or and you can't pedal to get out of it, you can just tap that just a little bit and you can pull out. This is one of the more important features on the bike. 
<laughs> you got to have a bell. Um, this is the first one of these e-bikes that I have had with a, a seven gear derailleur. This is seven gears. I've got it in five. Uh, if I put it in seven um, and I'm on a piece of straightaway, um, it just really moves on down. I have not yet had to put it down into two, three, or four. I don't have heels big enough. And, and then the assist is doing a great job. You'll also see here that you've got a, a battery indicator. And that battery indicator will um, let me know how much power I've got left. Again, this bike is rated at... 60 miles, depending on how much assist you have to put into it and how much of this button here that you're pushing. 60 miles. Um, so I haven't even touched it yet at just a little over two miles. Uh, let's look at a few of the other features that you have with this. I mentioned the battery. The battery is 20 amp hours at 48 volts. They're saying the top speed on this is 26 miles an hour. Uh, I can attest to that. I have got it to 26 miles an hour. Uh, one of the things I like is in the back hub, the rear hub, is a 750 watt brushless motor. Um, you've got disc brakes front and back, and the stopping is perfect. You can ease on or you can slam them on. It really works great. The frame is 100% aluminum alloy. And then I mentioned you've got a 7-speed Shimano a derailleur that's one of the best in the market just absolutely great i talked about the saddle or the seat is memory foam uh, charging time for this i haven't had it completely down all the way but it's reported from just a dead battery to full restoration is roughly about eight hours again it's very very quiet we're going to ride around let's go up to the campground i'm going to show you that a lot of nice things here uh, to be able to see at Lake Tobasovki, both campground and the beach and the recreation area. And then it's also a great place to ride your e-bike. So we're over here by the bathhouse now. You can kind of get a, a nice little view of things around. Again, they're cutting grass. It's going to get noisy here in just a second. So bear with that. This, hey, look, even with the noise, this is just a beautiful area. It is mid-April. And this is a great time to come over here and camp. Everything is green and popping out. Uh, uh, there's a few azaleas left. Uh, but again, you see just a little bit. Of, one of the nice things about this campground is they're pretty friendly about anything that can camp over here. All right, let's, let's look some more and then we'll go down by the lake. It's pretty down there. This is, uh, this is the full hookup section. This is really nice uh, when you look here. And this is also has your best views of the lake. Uh, these spots are all paved, uh, so they're all very, very level. Uh, and you can see some big rigs are coming in. Some are pull in or back in. Uh, others are pull through. Uh, these are full hookup though, complete full hookup. And they have water, sewer, uh, electric, 50 amp, and they have cables. So that makes it nice as well. But um, about half, I'd say a little better than half are pull through. Uh, and the, these two up, here on, two up here on the right that you see here, these are back ends. Right now I'm riding on some real rough gravel. Just nothing. Just no effort whatsoever. Uh, this is another little small pull through that you see here. I don't think that one's full hookup. I think you're only your full hookups here are right around the, uh, the edge. Um, this is one of my favorite camping spots that you'll see here. This is a a, uh, a pull through as well. It's got one of the best views uh, with very little around you. Um, I think this is water and electric only. It is. Really nice. As I pull out of the campground and we're gonna we're gonna go down in that direction down there by the lake and I'll let you see the lake and um, the kind of the beach area is pretty. But uh, I did not give you numbers of the sites like I normally do. This is more of, you know, the fun of the e-bike. But if you're interested in coming to the Arrowhead Campground, uh, I will leave you links uh, in today's description. Um, and as well as on the ilovervlife.com so you can see how to come here. And um, they've got site maps that you can see around and you know what fits what sizes and those types of things and then also across on the other side of the lake you can see what exists over at uh, at the other campground so it's really a nice area one of the things they have here that's really really popular a lot of folks are liking this when we go up to birds branch campground they have one 
they have got disc golf here and uh, the course runs around the side of the lake and that makes it nice all right let me show you some more of just the lake area this is a pretty campground one of the things i'm liking about this e-bike is if you're sitting at a standstill um, and you you know you don't have your pedal exactly where you want you hit this little button here on the side um, and you don't have to pedal or anything it's just like bang you just go all right i've hit this hill here i'm going to bump it up to assist three look at this no effort back down to assist one God, i love this i don't even have to hit the derailleur just literally touching with a thumb you can move these up or down and it is effortless just effortless Okay, we're coming up to another hill here. We're gonna be going down to the lake area. Now this is um, a good little steep hill and I could you know, stand up and really huff it, but I have an e-bike. Look at this. Just put it on assist three. It'll go up to, there's four. No effort. <laughs> and then, then you have to step it down pretty quick or this thing takes off like a rocket. Squirrel. Just beautiful. Now you'll, there's, again, there's walking paths everywhere. This is a kind of a continuation of the disc golf course that's here. All right, we will go here. You'll see all kinds of pavilions, all kinds of neat things here. Beautiful campground. I keep seeing that because it is. All right, let's go down here to the, let's go down here to the beach. And it looks like they are uh, have cleaned the sand up a lot and have all this beautiful new sand that they brought in getting ready for the season. Now we'll ride down here just so you can kind of see what's going on. Again, again, it's early season. The beach isn't open yet. But um, you have all kinds of fun things down here in the area. I've got your dock. You can pull your boat up too. Pick, pick the family up from uh, playing out on the beach and go out here and do a little water skiing and then right down here is uh, one of the docks again everything's closed off for now but that will change very soon Folks out on the beach getting a little bit of sun today. So we're going to come up on a speed bump. You can just see how little effort here. Boom, boom. You know, so if I was up in a specific area where I'm out on a trail or something and it's rocky. This is a really bad one here. You can just see how easy it is to be able to handle those. And uh, we'll continue around the playground here. You can see there's a playground off to the right for the kiddos. And then you'll see all these really nice pavilions here in the area. Beautiful pavilions that you can rent. So if the family comes in and you want to leave the campground and just come down here by the lake and enjoy the lake area and uh, you can eat you can either enjoy the trees as you'll see down here in this area all the different you know the tree lined area and the picnic tables and then you see all these very very nice you know concrete facilities they have here these pavilions uh, that you can come here and enjoy and grill out and have company there as well Here, we'll ride down to one. I'll let you see what it looks like. We've got an e-bike. Let's ride down by it. <laughs> so here's one of the pretty pavilions. This is C207. So here's the pavilion. It's very, very nice. You'll see on the other side, over right over there, a big grassy area so the kiddos can get out there and throw the ball or have a little badminton, something like that. Uh, picnic tables, grills, uh, garbage cans, water, you know, pretty much all that you need if you want to enjoy the pavilion. 
And then you'll notice right over there, you're right there by the lake. So if you got the boat, you can pull the boat up to the side. And uh, when we used to have a boat, we did that. <laughs> we came here a couple times and uh, we'd get everybody beach, you know, rides along the side of the beach or, um, you know, we would get out here and tube a little bit. It's a beautiful, beautiful little campground. Love it down here. Oh, look at that red fox. Can you see it? Oh, V, there's a red fox that just popped out. How cool is that? There he goes. Let's see if we can see if we can catch him coming up here. Where'd he go? There he is. See Mr. Fox? There he goes. <laughs> And across the road. How fun. I'll show you this as well. They've got a boat ramp. Uh, if you do want to bring your boat here. to This is the Claystone. Uh, I mentioned uh, there are two campgrounds here. This is Claystone. And then you have Arrowhead on the other side of the lake. And uh, the boats that you see covered over there is a private marina. Uh, here at Lake Tobosofki. But this is the public boat ramp. I've had a few folks out here fishing today. And this is, gets really busy in season. It's a little off season right now. We're coming back up here. I'm coming back to the guard area. And you can see the uh, just beautiful ride that we've had here at Lake Tobosofki today. It's been so much fun. Let me pull over here and I'll kind of give you a recap of what I think about uh, this new Troxxas e-bike. I'll go ahead and let you know. I love this thing. One of the nice things about an e-bike is it really does enhance your camping and RV travel. And we're really, really enjoying ours. If you're interested in getting one of these Troxxas e-bikes, I will put the link below. Or you can look right up above me and there is a card that will take you out to today's blog. And it will give you the details about where we're at today at Lake Tobosofki. Links on how to get one of these wonderful e-bikes. I'd like to thank Troxxas for providing us with this e-bike for review today. We're very, very appreciative to that. And hope as you look for e-bikes, this is one of the ones you'll consider. Mm -hmm.